If you knew that you were gonna die tomorrow, would you be happy with the life that you are leaving behind? Most would say no. And I think I know why. It's because quite simply you've been giving your power away to all of the things that sap your energy and make you a weaker person. And I think it's time for us as human beings to take our power back because everyone thinks that there's going to be some kind of possible dictatorship that takes your power and your rights away. But we're willingly giving up our rights. So you live with this great fear of rejection, so you stay in pornography because you're too afraid to speak to a woman. You have no idea or you don't have any skills yet as to how to build a business or how to further yourself in a career. So it's much easier to play a video game until it's 100% complete. And don't get me wrong, I'm a huge nerd. Ask me anything about Star Wars or about whatever, you know. But I also believe that if you're busy taking from these things and using them as a way to replace or simulate real life, your life isn't quite going as planned. And when you wind up on the deathbed, you'd wonder, wow, I haven't actually lived. And I'm confronted with something completely new. And this is simply the question that there's a great emptiness behind earning a lot of money. You might be making a ton, but after everything's been paid and you can live well and you can serve the, those around you well and they're still left, what do you do with that? I mean, it's quite staggering when you think about it. And I believe that the answer is found in knowing that you are the one that's painting your picture and if someone was to present this picture to you when you're on your deathbed, would you like what you see? In fact, the greatest, biggest motivator to that's been motivating me this last while is quite simply that if I were to die in six months, what would my life look like? How would I take agency back? Because a common symptom of this world's problems is that everyone's worried because they are reliant on this one thing for a living and then the company you work for folds and then you're left all alone. It's a lot of stress to carry day in and day out. Now, how could we start to bridge that? How do you live a life of agency? How do you take this back? The first is to become competent at something. Only when you are competent can you truly be confident in something. Because confidence without competence is simply arrogance. The second is to learn rejection. Go cold approach women. You don't even need anything from them. Just tell them, wow, I would be very regretful today if I didn't tell you I found you incredibly beautiful. I don't want anything from you. But if I did want something, it would be for you to know how pretty you look. And that's all. Then you leave it. It's a simple approach. Now, when it comes to career, instead of diving into a video game, which, by the way, I do use video games because in between hard work sessions and I've received feedback and I need a way to pro process them, sometimes I write them down. Sometimes I play a video game for about 45 minutes just because I need different stimulation. So I'm not hating on that. But don't let it take over your life to the point where you are living in a world that's not actually real. If you spend more time living in a server instead of living in servitude in real life to someone else or to other people, what are you doing? You know, I would love it if you could wake up and just see that there is so much more to life when you are grateful. Not the gratefulness that you say for five minutes in the morning, I'm grateful for my bed, for my walls, for this, this, this. When you act out in real gratitude. When you find yourself at the center of your personhood and you realize that you are the gathering of all the things around you, none of this would be possible without you. If you were dead, would, you, would any of this be possible? No, it wouldn't because you wouldn't be there to experience it. Why, why not feel that on such a great level that it causes you to impact the lives of those around you? 
And again, I ask you, if you were to die, would you be happy with the picture that is painted or not? If you aren't happy, it's time to take that paintbrush back and to start painting your own picture. Yes, it might be shit, but at least you're the one with the paintbrush and you'll be happy that you tried. You were alive. You weren't alive for billions of years. You've got a small sliver of life in you and you're telling me you're going to waste that on talking nonsense over yourself. You're going to waste that little sliver of life on being resentful and remorseful and hating on yourself. There's so much more for you. And I'm here for it. If you have more questions, please do let me know. I am here for you. Please don't die. I hope that's obvious. Alright. You've got this.